Hi there, happy, happy weekend and welcome to yet another episode on The Scoop here on Extra. Oh, you know the name, it's Jimmy Chris and you know I'm here to serve you stories that made the news during the weekend. In this week's stories, we are going to get into the funeral of DJ Arafat, that is the late Ivorian musician. And also, guess what, Steve Harvey is heading straight to Africa with his family feud show. And also there is fire in the camp of stone boy and we are going to get into these stories and some more when i come back from this very short break you need to stick around i'll be right back welcome back so as we reported the other time on the news that the family and management of the late dj arafat chose the 30th and 31st as the funeral date for the late star well on friday saturday it did come on and over 200,000 people are reported to have gathered at the Felix Kopua Boine Stadium in Abidjan to attend the funeral of the late star. This was after um, fans petitioned the government via um, social media to allow the management and family of DJ Arafat to use the 35,000 seater facility for a befitting send off for the late star. Well, not only fans attended the funeral to pay their last respect to DJ Arafat, but also some big African personalities were also in attendance. Um, the likes of Fali Ipupa, David Do, DJ Droba, among many other names, um, were there to pay their last respect to DJ Arafat. Also, Ivorian President Alassane Otara and other West African leaders are also said to have been in attendance and the government gave an amount of 250,000 US dollars to support the event. The stadium looked packed while some of the fans couldn't even get the chance to enter but then large screens were placed outside the stadium for those who were not able to make it inside and the event was broadcasted on television and you know radio stations as expected we we'll definitely remember dj arafat for you know all the songs and all the good memories he has given as a um, fairly well icon now on to our next story as i said steve harvey is heading all the way to africa with his popular family feud show yes he's going to have Ghanaian and south african versions of the show and steve harvey's company steve harvey global is said to have obtained the rights to host and launch their shows in ghana and south africa bringing family feud to africa has long been a dream of mine steve harvey said i believe family feud will become a household name for local south african and Ghanaian families and this is just the beginning in africa i expect this show to lead to multiple media and business projects in and throughout the continent he added family field is a show where two families compete um, to answer popular savvy questions gathered in order to win prizes and some gifts and it is showed in over 70 countries including US UK India Indonesia and now Ghana and South Africa so we definitely cannot wait to have the Ghanaian version of family field now moving on to our next story this week stone boy kelvin boy and his manager black cd were the trends as um it was being said that stone boy had sacked kelvin boy from his record label which led to stone boy's manager black cd also parting ways with a Ghanaian reggae dancehall artist even though we know that stone boys have been the one who signed kelvin boy it is being said that it is rather black cd's production that um, signed um, Kelvin Boy, but because he is the manager of Stone Boy, and Stone Boy has other signees, so they were all working together. The whole um, feud between Kelvin Boy and Stone Boy came off because of an assertion Kelvin Boy made in a recent interview where he said there is no reggae or dancehall latins in Ghana. So you just imagine your boss as a reggae dancehall artist, and then you go on stage or you have an interview where you're singing. There is no reggae dance hall latin. That means you don't you don't even believe in what he is doing. After that, it was being said that um, some boy had parted ways with Black City, who is his longtime manager also. But then Black City has come out to say that no. He has not parted ways with Stone Boy, but yes, there is bad blood brewing between Kelvin Boy and Stone Boy, but they were going to resolve everything and went further to edge beam natives or fans of the beam gang, you know, to stay calm and you know have 
believe that peace is going to reign soon and we definitely cannot wait for that to happen now on to our next story if you've been following the news for over the week you must have heard about um, the FBI busting some 77 Nigerians who are said to be behind some notorious fraud ring that have scammed to the tune of 10 million dollars and an attempt of 40 million dollars now whilst this story is trending and everybody is wondering how Nigerians are so smart when it comes to scamming and fraud. Now according to um, American based Nigerian musician Jidena, well Nigerians are scammers is because they are smart. The reason why Nigerians are known for scamming is not because we are bad people but because we are smarter than a lot of people. So as criminals, we're gonna be the best at it and so we will be the best at hacking and everything we do. He said, but when Jidena was asked if he had scammed before, he said no. However, there was a time when he was going to China to buy jewelries and he knew where all the jewelry corners were. So he goes to buy cheaper jewelries and go back to sell them to white guys at a higher price so yeah that is his kind of scam that is what he said on the breakfast show so what do you think about Jidena's thoughts Nigerians are smarter that's why they are smart as coming let us know what you think about Jidena's thoughts in the comment section now jumping right up onto our next story where we are going to Hollywood for a second in an attempt to protect um, their daughter's name Beyonce and Jay-Z decided to register um, Blue Ivy Carter so nobody can use it for business and make money off the name of their daughter but guess what one one woman known as Veronica Moral, who um, is said to be the CEO of a wedding planning company, has come out to say, hey, my company was there before, even before your child was born. Her company's name is Blue Ivy um, Planning Business, yes. So she's saying her company was there before Beyonce birthed Blue Ivy Carter. In her court documents, Veronica Moral is said to have cited an interview um, Jay-Z had with Vanity Fair where he did mention that they are trying to protect their daughter's name so nobody can use it to make money. But then when they were going to register the name, they did say that they were registering it for business purposes. Therefore, she's suing Beyonce for fraud. According to reports, earlier this year, um, Veronica Moral did request that text messages between Beyonce, Jay-Z and Tina Knowles, that's Beyonce's mother, be um, produced so that um, to confirm that the family indeed had no knowledge about any company whatsoever um, being registered under Blue Ivy to prove that yes, indeed, they did not have any idea. But Beyonce's team um, rejected that and said that confidential information could be released to the public but then veronica's legal team and beyonce's legal team are said to be meeting in court pretty soon let's see how it, it ends where the kanye west fans at your king is about to drop his ninth studio album yes now on thursday his wife kim kardashian took to instagram to share a photo of a notebook which seems to contain the rapper's album title and track list the album title jesus is skin is said to have originally been called yandy and was supposed to be released in october last year but was pushed to the end of november it is going to be released in september 27th this year so if you are a kanye west fan and you've been expecting something from him then you should be looking forward to September 27th where he's going to release his ninth studio album. It's been a very long time I heard anything from Kanye and I can't actually wait to see what Kanye is, you know, Kanye has to share with us in Jesus skin, right? Well, this will be the end on the scoop this week. You know what to do if you've not subscribed to our channel yet. Hit on the subscribe button, hit on the bell to get all of our notifications. And if you like every episode, you know you've got to share, right? So share it on your social media platforms with your fans, your friends, and your family. And follow us on social media at Extra Old TV, at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you in another episode. The name is Jimmy Chris. You can follow me on social media platforms at that petite girl. And let's get social. See you. Stay safe and have a great weekend. Bye for the now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to get all of our notifications. Hit the like button. Yeah. And don't forget to share with your friends and family.